Hi there and welcome to a new video in which I want to discuss the following. Why is mostly nobody talking about goaded forks? I will super quickly summarize what what these forks are, why they have emerged, etc. So basically, lately there has been a lot of problem inside of the Godot community. Uh, basically, um, Godot not listening to what some users want the engine to implement. Problems in their social media with people being blocked because they have expressed different opinions or they have posted a certain type of comments. And when all this uh, caused uh, people to create their own Godot forks. As you know, Godot is open source, which means that the code is completely public. You can download Godot code and create your own versions of the engine. This is exactly what, in this case, Red Dot and Blasium have done. They are basically Godot copies or Godot forks. Um, they are a, they have like the same core of of Godot, but each of these forks have their own peculiarities. This is not a video uh, to talk about the exact differences between the three because that is a topic that has already been covered in the channel. If you want to check it out, just go to the channel and you will find it. What I want to focus more is in the fact that not too many people have um, found people talking about this topic. Because I've received, for example, these two comments, these are just one of the many comments that I've received of people that don't really know about this topic. This is one comment and this is another comment, this one liked by also more, pe more people. But once again, this is just an example from one specific video about this topic. But if you go to the channel, we have dozens of videos talking about this topic. And in lots of them, you will find comments, people saying, okay, I, I didn't know about this topic, that's why... Uh, mostly every single time that I talk about this topic, I explain what it is about over and over again because more and more people are uh, getting to know that there is like some kind of drama behind. And here comes the question, why is nobody or, or mostly nobody talking about this at least in depth? So first of all, I'm going to be enumerating these reasons and the first reason and the main one, of course, is that they are not uh, viral, okay? Um... So, for example, Godot has uh, over um, 130k followers just on X. Red Dot, let's say, only has over uh, 4,000 followers. And Blasium has just 845 followers. And of course, Godot itself is also going to tell you, oh, we have had uh, these problems with the community. Here are some forks that you can use instead of us. Of course, there has been no promotion, and these projects made by basically in the developers or individuals, okay, themselves, they had to do themselves the marketing of their project, uh, like everything themselves. So just having this, what may be seem as a lot of people, just a small number of followers, it's actually a lot, it, or, or actually they mean a lot. And, and also I believe that Reddit used to have a previous account, but it was hacked or, any, or something like that. And I don't really remember, but uh, that was the, the first account that that account, let's say that went viral a little bit and maybe it had more followers, I don't know. But well, that's also something to understand. They still have their own YouTube channels, uh, some of them. Um, but once again, they, they don't reach like a massive audience and it's completely understandable. But that's one thing. They are not viral, they are not massive. So if not a lot of people can see them on Twitter or something like that, they are not going to be um, showcased in lots of places where people can actually start to know these projects. Now let's go to the uh, second reason, which I believe that is that these engines are a little bit immature la right now, okay? So what I mean exactly by immature is that, well, they still, uh, they have just been existing for a couple of months um, so of course there's been a lot of trial and error and of course the progress that both of these forks have had is amazing. <laughs> they all have uh, basically their own website working with a super interesting design with everything working amazingly. If you just take a look at this website, you think, wait, this is a serious project, uh, something that maybe has been going on for lots of years. Um, and it is something that has just existed for a couple of months. So that is amazing in that way, in, in that manner. And even though as we covered in the difference in the differences video in which we compare everything, um, there are some forks that do have like super significant changes uh, to to from Godot and and the other forks. But still, in general, I would say that they still, of course, lack some some stuff. And when I mean that they like they lack some stuff, is that they are still immature. 
not lots of people trust in them so therefore they may have or actually are um, are having some well not problems but they all have to deal with uh, with money itself okay they do some of them have uh, donations open but of course they are not able to collect as much money as gold uh, as gold does because some people like this project some people don't um some people do believe that okay these forks can survive in the long term some people say these forks will just ex exist for a couple of more months and then they will die um so why would they donate to the project that they believe that will die soon and even though there are some forks that do provide uh, interesting changes um and, and new features there are still maybe not enough features for like a bigger company or maybe not bigger company because godot is not maybe used by by lots of big of of big companies but for the indie developer maybe it is not worth ba basically merging to it or, or to, to any fork in general because once again they may have significant changes but they are not enough to completely switch a game engine and the last one that i want to talk about is versions okay because what happens is that of course and this is actually versions are quite related to the first point which is money and in money we could also include a number of developers okay of course god has the largest number of developers uh so what happens is that even though they, they have been able to keep up a pretty good pace like Blasphemy is always releasing new features. Reddit is, uh, is always um, posting here new stuff of the blog. By the way, they have just uh, released a new a new blog post. I think it was yesterday or something like that. Um, maybe you are seeing this video a little bit later. But well, they are like all the time posting here new things that they have uh, going that they have been creating. But still, it is not able to match the pace at which Godot is going. For obvious reasons that we have highlighted here, more depth, more money. Okay, go dot every time, every as you can see, 21 March something, 26 March something, 28 March something, 20 March something. Um, so well, that was, that's also something that this is impossible to, the, the, the forks are impossible to catch up on go dot at least right now. And the other, um, and the other third point um, by which people may not actually know about these forks so they don't cover is the future, which is by the way, super related to uh, all these three uh, topics. Because if the engine has no money, no developers, well, no, 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 no money or, or no developers, uh, but they don't have enough resources for the engine to survive in the long term or to actually provide significant improvements. Well, people are concerned about the future. And why am I mentioning mainly these two topics? Why do, what exactly do they have to do with people not knowing about these forks? And I believe that it is because lots of content creators don't want to talk about these kind of forks because they are, for lots of people, they are not serious projects. And therefore, they don't want to create any kind of video or um, any kind of resource that mentions these uh, projects. And also, we can even add a third topic, which is drama now there are some uh, content creators as me that don't really care about the drama and on the other hand as nobody is covering these topics i am one of the few youtubers that actually is covering the drama for you to avoid having to read super long blog posts to subscribe to every channel uh, that due to where discord twitter where you would be able to see the latest features and just have like a video that for lots of people is much it's much easier to consume that than than reading something um, so I like to take advantage of that, obviously, uh, and also not only because of the views that I get, but also because I am able to help people and to inform people. It's a win-win situation. And lots of people that do care about the drama, I want to say it's a completely valid position and they don't want to, to post about drama in their, in their content because they say, okay, I upload, I don't know, tutorials, um, okay, I upload courses, okay. I upload whatever, and does this really have to do with drama? For lots of people, it has nothing to do with. And once again, every single content creator manages their content, their channel as they want. It is completely valid. Me, personally, I like to, to show not only tutorials and courses, but also more things like in general, in terms of game development and, and Godot more specifically. And, that, and this is a topic that has to do with Godot. So all these reasons, all these reasons, um, basically cause people not to be able to know a, a lot about these forks. So once again, I'm one of the few YouTubers that actually covers these topics. I believe mostly because of this third point. Not a lot of YouTubers like to get into drama. We already know 
what sometimes getting into drama involves you have to be super careful with the type of content that you create you may also sometimes receive hate once again i don't care about the hate or anything like that because i know that the content that i create is completely genuine and if ever i, I commit a mistake i just try to make up for it so once the, uh, that that is said that's all that i wanted to mention in this video and i will see you in the next one and of course subscribe if you want to be updated